Today we are opening an old school Yu-Gi-Oh collection binder. What's up guys, today we're going to be opening an epic collection that I may or may not purchase. A friend of mine sent me this on Instagram, Yu-Gi-Oh! EXE, and he said, I want to sell this, check it out, see if you want to buy it, we can maybe figure out a price. Even if you don't, I want it to be shown on the channel. So I was like, okay, let's check out this collection, and I know for a fact that it's a lot of old school stuff, because I know a lot of the recent collections we've bought have been more newer stuff, and a little bit of old stuff, but not as much as this one. Before that, I'll be giving away these three cards. We have three versions of Swords of Revealing Light. All you have to do is like this video be subscribed let me know your favorite card from the collection there's a lot of good old school throwbacks to choose from so this was in the binder that i showed in the intro and on the thumbnail but you guys know that it's uh, kind of hard to see those so i pulled them out so we we're going to start off with there's some commons in here from like retro pack and some stuff like that so we're going to start off with a little bit lower tier stuff so we got tornado bird here's some tp5 commons we've got a tp3 patrol robo it's cool this was a super rare in tp1 they reprinted it in tp3 as a regular rare i think it did, they did that with every single tp1 hollow and made them rares it's kind of weird and we have a phoenix wing wind blast pretty good card from flaming eternity we opened a whole box of that if you guys have not seen that go check it out that was a really fun opening stop defense that's first edition legend of blue eyes we got aqua medour we got flower wolf spirit of the harp grave keepers assailant these are retro pack too so all these are retro pack too retro pack two commons for the most part aren't too crazy expensive but they have a little bit of value spirit message and spirit message i all this is still retro pack two retro pack two has so many cool epic commons so like just really good cards that were printed as common speaking of that we're opening an entire box of that when we had a hundred thousand we're very very close i think we're around ninety six thousand right now about four thousand to go it's insane how close we are. So that's going to be extremely fun when we do that. We're going to see a lot of this stuff again. Retro pack. We got Mask of Restrict. It's just a regular common. Curse the Mass Beast. Gemini Elf is a common. Mad Sword Beast. Gravity Bind. Skull Invitation. I think we get into Retro Pack 1 eventually in here. So I think all of these are Retro Pack 2. I mean, look at those. Those are great GOAT format cards. If you guys want to see some GOAT format duels or... I'm thinking about doing a GOAT format video. Just kind of talking about the format in general. I think that could be pretty cool. I actually got a request for that, and they're like, I want to play GOAT format. I don't really know where to start or anything, so maybe I'll do that. Dark Paladin, that's a uh, cool one from Duelist Pack Yugi. It's one of the best cards. It's still like $3, though, because they did new ultimates in Duelist Pack Yugi for some reason. In Mado, a I think he just has this because it's hilarious, and it's a classic card, you know? The Why is the, the bar go is going through his face, which is kind of scary if you think about it, but in Mado, we got the Cherry in Mado. Oh, I'm never even What is this? The Shining Darkness, I've I didn't notice that when I opened this. Cherry in Mado? That's cool. I really like that card. Okay. And three more Cherry in Mado. Okay, so that's kind of the lower tier stuff. There's a few other cards before we get into the big hitters. Then we have the Gigantic Germ. Retro Pack 1. We got the Luminous Spark. The Flying Kamikiri number 1. Mystical Space Typhoon. Maha Vilo. We got the Harpy Lady. That's probably worth something. These are actually expensive. Uh, I think Rise of Destiny, they're like, like 7 8 bucks for Unlimited. Man Eater Bug. We got the Arm Ninja. Swap Frog. Swap Frog, and here's where we stop getting into the commons. We get more into the foil stuff. In there, we have the Legendary Knight Critias. Hermos, Comic Hand, Tyrant Burst, Comic Hand. We got the Mother Grizzly. See, here's some Secret Rares from Legendary Collection. Yugi's World, which are really, really cool. Secret Rare, Commander Covington, Solemn Judgment, Horn of Heaven. Solemn Judgment Secret Rare actually looks really cool. I really like that one. Feather of a Phoenix is nice. Two of the King Rex is just a classic from the anime, so you love to see that. Torrential is also a good one. Torrential's are in general expensive because I think they're being used. I think traps are kind of more in now in the meta. So torrential still good, you know, nowadays, even though it was printed in 2003. Right leg of the Forbidden One, we got a secret right there. So you can't really see these uh, secret rares very well for some reason. It depends on what card it is. So you can see it a little better there. Mystical Space Typhoon, very nice. Another one, a Book of Moon, that's a nice copy. All these are secret rares. Brain Control, Raigeki, there's a little bit. Exchange, exchange. Okay, so. All some secret rares from Legendary Collection, Yugi, and a couple other things. So those are nice. Now we're starting to get into more like heavy hitter stuff. So we have some ultimate rares. We have the Strong Wind Dragon, the Cyber Prima. Forbidden Chalice is not an ultimate, but it's a nice ultra. Flameveil Commando. We got the multiple piece golem. We have multiple, multiple piece golems. Okay, that was a bad joke. Blue Eyes White Dragon from BPT 2002. This is from the original 2002 10. They also printed the same artwork in 2003, but it had no limited edition. Tribe Infecting Virus First Edition. That's just a good card in GOAT format. And any format where it's legal, honestly, until and probably now in the meta, it's not very good. They just unbanned it recently. Red Eyes B Dragon. Call of the Haunted. Triangle X C. Okay, those are pretty cheap. Earthbound Immortal. Asla Pisku. Earthbound Immortal. Kapakapu? Kapakapu? 
Kapakapu, I think is how you say that. Then you get into some cool stuff like Dark Paladin. We've got Cyber Jar Ultimate Rare First Edition from Duelist Pack Hybrid. That's really, really cool. Someone told me that they may be sending in a booster box of this set to be open. So hopefully that happens because that would be really fun for you guys to see and for me to open. We've got the Earthbound Immortal Kakaraya. Kakarahai Krakaua. Kakarayoyabayaba. Red Dragon Arts Venus Soul Mode. Ultimate Rare. That's extremely cool. Majestic Star Dragon. Ultimate Rare. These are all first edition. Power Tool Dragon. First edition. Ultimate Rare from Raging Battle. Ancient Fairy Dragon. First edition. Ultimate Rare. We pulled this in a video. That was really cool. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. This is a super rare from Champion Pack 6. So it's pretty valuable. It's like $200, I think. Breaker the Magical Warrior, first edition from Magician's Force. I haven't checked the conditions. I think a lot of this stuff, may, let's just check one randomly. I know it's not all like mint or near mint even. Like some of it's going to be light play, moderate play, even heavy play. So let's see what, what we can expect sort of. So the front looks pretty good. I think that, okay, yeah, it looks like it has some a little bit of stuff on the top. It's got a little corner issue maybe. Yeah, back's definitely like moderately played, maybe probably moderately played cards. So a lot of this stuff is probably moderately played. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think I should pay for this, by the way. But keep in mind, a lot of it is not near mint. So maybe we'll check out some of the bigger cards like that later. Then we have Nightmare Wheel, the Mask of Restrict, and a Goblin Attack Force. Really cool card. I always like this one. That was Skill Drain is insane, 2300 beater. Then we have some uh, Dark Mirror Force, just in case you want to counter their Mirror Force. Uh, probably never should do that, because really bad. Yada Garasu is really cool. Exodia Necros, another Yada. So we've got two Yada, one Exodia Necros, another Nightmare Wheel, three Nightmare Wheels, actually. I remember this pulling them out. Last turn, very weird card. I mean, there's like a 13-page document talking about how to actually use this card, I think. It's something crazy like that. Fiend Skull Dragon, Ryu Senshi. We get the Dark Balter the Terrible. Hinokagusuchi, Marauding Captain, Freed the Maxwell's General, Dark Magician of Chaos. I think there's a play set of these. Look at this. Dark Magician of Chaos. Three first editions. Let's check out, let's check out one of these, see what kind of condition we're looking at. I know for a fact some of these he got from me. Not these Dark Magician, but like some of these cards he actually got from me at some point. So I'm not sure if he like he's selling a lot, honestly, of his collection. So I don't know. I think I, he told me what he was doing. He was like moving or something. I can't remember exactly, but I don't know if he's selling like everything or if he's just selling, a, you know, a ton of his binder, maybe just to help pay for it. That's honestly not in bad shape. Pretty good. So, so there's, there's going to be some nice stuff in here. If we do buy this collection, then some of this is going to be for sale. So you guys, if you're interested in something, you can hit me up. I'll let you know if we actually got the collection or not. Air Knight Parshath, Dark Ruler Hades. Very cool. All right, we're not even close to done, by the way. So that's so get excited for more epicness. Magical ads. And the front is where it was actually insane. So we'll, we'll get there. Gear Free the Iron Knight. Beast of Talwar. We got the Gear Free the Iron Knight. Fairy Meteor Crush. Nobleman of Crossout. Another Fairy Meteor Crush. We've got the Masked Beast himself. How about another Masked Beast? How about another Masked Beast? He had play sets of some of this stuff, which is really cool. First edition Masked Beast. I love this card. I mean, look at this guy. Does he not look awesome? I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Then we get into the big boy. The Thousand Eyes Restrict. Speaking of go format, very good card. Buster Blader, first edition. Thousand Eyes Restrict. We got Shinado, one of my favorite cards ever. We pulled it the other day. Check that video out. So that was really fun. I mean, Shinado, King of a Higher Plane. Blackluster Soldier, another Shinado. Torrential Tribute, first edition. I mean, this is probably actually pretty valuable now because of how good Torrential. And there's a play set of them, so... Whenever I'm playing that uh, Dark Magician trap deck that I'm going to eventually build, uh, that'll the, maybe we'll use those. Canadian Destruction, Call of the Haunted, Cease Fire, 7 tools, 7 tools, 7 tools. The card you don't want to pull from Metal Raiders. Banish for the Light, 3 of those. Spellbinding Circle, 1st Edition. Trap Hole, 1st Edition. Legend of Blue Eyes. Yeah, that's, that's a super rare. And Spellbinding Circle again. So, I mean, just really awesome stuff. Just some classics in here. We still have quite a ways to go and quite a lot of awesome stuff. Invader of the Throne, some super rares. Here's some super rares from Magic Ruler. I keep saying Magician's Force for some reason. Messenger of Peace is extremely annoying. Confiscation is very strong. Black Pendant is not very good. <laughs> Axis Pier is pretty good. The Linguin Duo is pretty good. That's another MST. How many is that now? Like five in this? Pot of Greed First Edition Super Rare. That's cool for uh, GOAT format, too. That's just a nice rarity. Let's see if you guys can see it a little better. Lighting is a little bit weird because we got some natural light coming in today, but we got the Creature Swap. Pot of Greed First Edition Legend of Blue Eyes. That holds some value, even just a regular rare. Then we get into a lot. He is a big Dark Paladin fan, so you guys will notice this here. Dark Paladin. These are all Dual Masters Guide copies, so they were a promo. You guys can check out this set number right here. Dual Masters Guide. It doesn't stand for Dark Magician Girl. That's the promo with that came with an SDK and an SDY deck. So we have all of these Dual Masters Guide Dark Dark Paladins. 
Absolutely awesome. Koitsu, I think he got either this one or the Aitsu. Maybe it was the Aitsu from me, from my Magician's Force box. Or it was a Magician's Force pack. I can't remember. There's an XYZ Dragon Cannon First Edition. You'd love to see that one. That's a cool one from Magician's Force. YZ Tank Dragon XY Dragon Cannon. This is a mouthful. One's an Ultra and one's a Super. And they're both just like combinations of two. It's kind of funny. And the next Z, that's another Super. So maybe they ran out of Ultras. They didn't have something else they wanted to be Ultra. Z Metal, Y, and an X Head. So all of those. More Dark Paladins here. Got Dark Paladin from Dark Revelation 1. The... First edition secret rare from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. I think this is the one he bought from me. I could be wrong, but uh, that's a nice one. And then the, is this the MFC Unlimited? Yeah, the artwork that was supposed to be first edition, but they accidentally messed it up. So this is the, they actually did it right in the Unlimited. So, and then here's another Unlimited MFC. Then we have more Paladins, MFC. We got first edition MFC, first edition MFC, first edition MFC. So that's a lot of Paladins. First edition Megamorphs. We've got Toon Mermaid, Toon World, Toon Summon Skull, first edition. All this stuff's first edition almost. Axe of Despair's a whole playset. We've got Mystical Space Typhoon playset. First edition Black Illusion Ritual. Relinquished for Master Collection 1. We've got a Retro Pack 1 Relinquished. That's really, actually really rare as an ultra rare. First edition SDP. We got a whole playset of those. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes stuff now. Man Eater Bug. Man Eater Bug faded. I mean, just check out that fade compared to that one. I mean, both are first edition LOB, but they look completely different. Really cool. And then a very beat up one. As you can see, those corners are not looking so hot. But another first edition. Flame Swordsman first edition. Mirror Force faded first edition. Flame Swordsman first edition faded. Just a ton of awesome stuff. And here's the final stack. We're going to get into some absolute fire here. Maybe we'll look at some more conditions. We've got Suijin, Kazijin, Sangha. No Gay Guardian, unfortunately, but we have a Raigeki First Edition, Monster Reborn First Edition, Swords Revealing Light First Edition, Trihorn definitely has been through the ringer, but it's First Edition, Dark Magician First Edition Legend of Blue Eyes. We got to check this one out. There's a Red Eyes, by the way. So let's check out this condition, see what it's looking like. I'm guessing it's not great. I think he said the Ultras were not in good condition. Yeah, check this out. This one's been bent down the middle. So that's kind of the condition on some of the cards, but I think it's more of the really expensive ones like Dark Magician First Edition, but even then it's still a cool card. We've got a Red Eyes. Let's see what condition this guy's in. Red Eyes has been bent as well, so they're, they're not in the best shape, but they are still really cool cards. Oh, it looks like this one was graded previously. This was a very good three. That's actually generous, I feel like. <laughs> That card looked pretty rough. Then we have some other cool stuff like Polly's Faded Polly looks really good. I love how that looks. Another Polly First Ed. Injection Fairy Lily First Edition. We got Injection, Injection. That's three of those. We got Serpent Night Dragon 1, 2, and 3. A play set of those. Diffusion Wave Motion, the uh, MFC Secret Rare that you do not want. Thousand Dragon First Edition. Is there something going on? There's some junk on it. Okay. Diffusion Wave Motion as well. Imperial Order is a very good card as well. First Edition three of those and then we get into the genzo you can see this guy is creased that way but don't worry there's another one corner is a little messed up and then a third one so a play set even though some are very beat up still really cool to see those genzos first edition and then three magic cylinder first edition from pharaoh's servant so that's the entire collection that i may or may not buy the conditions are they're a wide range either bent some of it's near mint. You know, there's a big range. So this is a cool old school collection. We haven't opened a big old school collection in a while. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe because we're getting close to 100,000. But before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on YouTube and Patreon. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Jews, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. That's it for this one. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!